Yeah, here we go. Another live show on another Thursday night with the one and only Charnamit. Charnamis. Charnamit. Charnamit Prime. Charnamit. Charnamit. Charnamit Prime. Charnamit. Charnamit. Charnamit Prime. Reading comics. Put the hell of sick. Hell of it. Take a bad hits. Take a bad shits. Charmis. Subscribe. You pinch him, man. I don't even know if that's the right note, but hey, that'll work for right now. How's everybody doing today? Doing another live show. I gotta go put this guitar back away over there really quick. I don't want to drop it. I recently changed the strings on this thing and just scuffed up my Ibanez right over there. You see that? Oh that scuff that's not a white hair that is a big old scuff on my precious Ibanez. such a big time bummer but what's not a big time bummer is that i have a bunch of stuff that i'm going to be opening up today because i like i like to open up figures and you guys like to watch me open up figures sometimes sometimes i know you guys like the reviews more but um I'm going to open up some Star Wars figures. I hope everybody uh, that enjoys Cinco de Mayo had a great Cinco de Mayo yesterday. I had a great Cinco de Mayo yesterday. Got, uh, you know, perfectly uh, intoxicated to a point where I was not too messed up or anything. It was just a nice, pleasurable, uh, moderate ride all the way through. Nothing too crazy, nothing too stupid. Just a nice time. I uh, was able to have uh, vaccinated family members over, so it was a whole, uh, you know, it was cool to to be able to enjoy uh, probably one of the most normal, uh, <laughs> this is like one of the more normal celebratory moments I've had in a long time, so that was great. But yeah, um, I hope everyone else is safe and healthy out there. Hope everybody's doing well. And, um, I, yeah, dude, I got, I got a package in from, uh, from Hasbro. I had some goodies over here and I didn't show them off on May the 4th, but I showed them off on May the 5th. So hopefully that counts. But, uh, some of these I do want to open on camera. I also have some other goodies that I set aside, uh, to open on camera, uh, with you. So, uh, yeah, so we'll do that stuff. Also, uh, some Star Wars figures I've actually had for a minute that I was going to do an unboxing video for. And if, if you see me looking around, I put them in a stack, and I'm like, wait, where did I put that stack of figures? I think I may have uh, moved it over. But, oh, yes, this I have to move for sure. Oh, my gosh. Let's just talk about – let's get into non-Star uh, Wars figures just for a second because I got to give a shout-out to Prescribed Drone for leading me on to this. And, hey, Adam, big thanks, dude. Thank you so much. Let's see if I can get the click right on there. Boom, super chat. All right, brother. Thank you so much with the shaka. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. We have uh, the uh, one 12 scale Felix figure from the brand. I can't. Is this uh, or the clown Felix toys, the clown. Sorry, I got I called him Felix, but it's Felix toys. And this is the clown right here. And this looks dope. Um the neck is long as hell. I want to review this, but I have, uh, and I will review it probably sooner than later. Little Velcro right thing, thing, little Velcro right thing, little Velcro piece right there for the vest. But this is really cool, and I had to pick up this figure because I love the Joker. I love the Joker movie. Uh, Rewatching the Joker movie right now. Um, I have to do it in pieces like how I have to do with watching all movies <laughs> because, you know, I don't want any of the, I don't know, maybe not a good, not a good movie to put on with the kids. Hi, it's me. Hey, it's you. Thank you so much for the contribution. Really appreciate it. Is that, a, oh, I was going to say, is that a Wolverine? No, it's a dog. It's a dog, not a Wolverine. Uh no, hi, it's me. You disappointed me. I thought you would have a pet wolverine in your house, but you don't. But you don't. No, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Um, oh, Jerry says, uh, do you know Joker 2 movie? I do not. I I knew I knew that uh Joaquin Phoenix did say publicly that he was interested in doing another Joker movie, reprising the role as the Joker. So I thought that would be 
very cool. And to me, that's making me think that we are going to get another Joker movie or Walking Phoenix. I mean, really, dude, Walking Phoenix and Ben Affleck together on screen would be a really cool thing to see, huh? What do you guys think of that? I think that would be kind of neat. No, Zeus one nine three Purcell. Thank you so much for the four ninety nine contribution. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to show you guys another action figure that is not a Star Wars figure. And I have my coffee right here laying off the potassium benzoates and uh, just have black coffee in the coffee mug. And um, yeah, so mm, staying caffeinated. It's uh, yeah, it's been a, it's, it's been a trippy time lately, man. A lot of a lot of cool things coming in the mail and a lot of me kind of just trying to juggle things around and, and, and try to, I have like a whole bunch of awesome McFarland toy stuff. I have a cabal review coming up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I will have a, and I'll get started on the Shang Chi wave uh, very soon. Uh, if anyone even cares to watch it anymore, I mean, it's like everybody and their, and their pet Wolverine have already reviewed it, but my review is going to be different. My review is going to be different because um, there's going to be something big. There's going to be something big in my Shang-Chi review. Or, uh, yeah, big time. Whoa, 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 I hope I didn't give it away. But anyway, uh, Sapphire Storm here says, Hi, I lost my first ever action figure's last right hand. I'm kind of sad about it. It's my favorite figure. It's the Superior Spider-Man. Nice delivery on that buildup right there, you know, because it was quite a mystery. But, um, yeah, that's pretty bummed out. Yeah, that, that, that's a bummer, dude. I mean, where do you think it is? Where did you last see it? Did you check under the bookshelf? It could be under the bookshelf. It could be, you know, under – it could be under somewhere that you just really just didn't think of. You know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe move stuff around. I don't know. Cosmic Crusher says, Shardimus, you're my favorite YouTuber, and I watch all your videos. Thank you so much, Cosmic Crusher. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Very, very kind of you to do and say. Thank you. And then uh, Gojira Stop Motion says, Sup, dude? Hope you've been doing and great. Uh, I have been doing and I have been feeling great, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And then Sebastian Cervantes says, who's your favorite Joker, Mark Hamill or Jack Nicholson? Yeah, that's a good question. That is a very good question. I would say, um, yeah, man, I, I, I would say Mark Hamill is, is more of the, I, I have more moments of Mark Hamill's Joker, like really ringing, uh, true throughout my memory yeah there, there's some real geek out moments uh you know for for the hamill joker so i'm gonna give it to him i'm gonna show you guys a box over here of something that you have not seen me talk about in this on this channel for a very long time and that is mythic legions yeah got some mythic legions right here i don't know uh i've i've ordered two figures from them recently i can't remember the name of the bat character was it Vag rat vorg vag something like that started with the V but this right here is the equidron and um yeah uh, <laughs> dude this is a beast of a figure you want to see it real quick you want me to show it off I'm gonna do a review of this thing later on down the line but uh this is just something that was so cool where it was like look as I mentioned I have a bunch of other stuff I want to open and everything but this figure just looked so cool. I had to just let it cut in line and just open it along with the along with the clown figure over here too. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab that real quick. We'll talk about Star Wars today. Don't you worry, it's gonna happen. But we wanted, to, you know. But uh, oh my freaking god, dude! Oh god, that hurt. Look at that. <laughs> this thing. You know, there's this that there's this uh if I can get the words out of my face. There's this thing that happens with certain figures where they have presence. And this freaking thing has presence. It has a horsey tail right here, which I did not foresee it having. It's not really connected to anything, it's just part of the skirt. Unless it got unplugged. No, it's like just part of this whole, you know, the, the, this whole waist piece right here, but 
freaking hell, dude. I mean, maybe all overexposed lighting is not doing it justice. Luckily, I spent a bunch of money on a camera so I could do this figure justice. So later on, I will be reviewing this. But holy crap. I mean, <laughs> wow. This is so badass looking. This just looks so sick. Yeah. Four horsemen crushing it, man. Oh, dude. Look how beastly it looks. Damn. That, that, I, yeah. Uh, the, the words, the words, the words. The, they're having a hard time doing their thing because this is just so cool looking. And as I I look at it here and then I look at it on the screen right there and I'm like, I am doing a horrible job. So I'm just going to set it aside. And uh, he is a bit top heavy. So be warned for that. But it is amazing looking. So, um, yeah, I have a, uh, I got this uh, complimentary package, and speaking of complimentary package, I have a big-ass giveaway coming to this channel very soon. If you guys didn't already hear, we have a road to 600,000 subscribers happening. So it's starting, and uh, we're getting closer and closer, so thank you to everybody who's been subscribed. I appreciate everybody watching, but I want, um, I want to spread the love, so... Why don't you hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already so that you can get entered into these contests that are be coming up. And I say contest, not contests. It's one contest with a shitload of stuff. So there's not going to be just like one winner. That's the thing that I'm really going for is so that it's not just one person getting all the stuff. We're going to kind of like spread it out so that there's multiple winners. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, can you do toy again, Samuel? Can you do toy again? I will do toy again. So this is a uh, big thanks to Hasbro for sending out this free gift my way. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, in no way, shape, or form has Hasbro asked me to curve my opinions or anything like that. I know people love to fucking hate and say that, but oh my God, dude, this is, this is really cool. So this is a late May the 4th unboxing with this. I love how these mailers come out, dude. This is so sick. So that is really, really dope. And then nothing really on the bottom right here. It says Hasbro and it says Disney and all that right there. So got some goodies in here I'm going to show off. Not every single little thing, but oh, 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 oh. don't want to knock over. Okay, I'm going to put this down right here. One thing that really caught my eye when I opened this up was the repainted Mace Windu. Yeah, I did not expect to see this in there. I was like, oh my gosh, man. This is one that I, I, I was really, really peeping at, and I didn't want to grab it at the time because I was thinking, like, oh, I have the regular version that came out not that long ago, but this looks better just looking at it right away. I mean, if you guys have this in hand, um, let me know what you think of it compared to the original version. And I like this whole thing with the card. I didn't expect to really like this as much as I do, but I really do like that. Oh, I'm toying again while leaving that up there. Oh, wait, here we have a super chat from Sacred. Thank you so much, Sacred. He uh, he says, uh, hey, Shart, love your videos, man. I wanted to ask if you could make a video on your 3.75-inch uh, Marvel collection considering the line dead. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't have them up on display, but I do collect them still now and then, even though, yeah, the, the line is pretty much dead. Um, thank you again for that contribution. Um, but uh, to be honest with you, it's mostly in it. I have a few of them out here and there in kind of different places. Some of them I just kind of like to play with. Um, some of them are strategically placed in the collection here and there bunch of three three quarter inch spider-man figures i just have out because i want to play with them and pose them around and i really like them for the most part my three three quarter inch uh collection is in a bin to be to be put on a shelf once i get new shelving so i have um like a star wars collection video was something that i wanted to do for may the 4th but i did not do that because i don't have my mando my mandalorian shelf set up so there's some, I have a plan for new shelving going into the dork room and the three, three quarter inch as, as well with the Mando uh, stuff I want to have on their own shelves and I want to set that up proper and everything. So I have plans, um, 
It's just not happened yet. I got to get my TIE fighter hanging from the ceiling and I got to move. Uh, I got to get some shelves out. Uh, you guys remember that mildewy ass wall? Yeah, yeah, nasty. So I got to get that wall painted and cleaned up and stuff. Um, it's also going to be partly prepping the room uh, for whenever one of my daughters moves in there, which is not going to be soon. But I know it's going to happen one day where I will lose the dork room. And um, I'm, and I'm so scared of that day because I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for it right now. But I don't think I can handle losing the dark room. <laughs> but I love my kids. Oh, my God. There's so, so much Spanish. No puedo hablar en español. No sé. No puedo hablar. So, uh, solamente puedo hablar en inglés. Entonces, si puedo un Si puedo hablar en español, pero no puedo uh, hablar por cuantos minutos o muchos minutos o, o muy largo porque mi español no está, no está muy bien. Entonces, yo necesito, uh, I, I need to visit like another country or something. I need to visit like Costa Rica. I want to go back to Costa Rica for like a month. That's like a dream of mine one day is to just like stay in Costa Rica for like a month or something. Um, but to show off some of the other goodies, now this one I'm going to be opening today for sure. Um, yeah, new Tuscan Raider. Right. Sweet, 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 sweet. Got a new Tuscan Raider right here. This makes me really happy. Should I crack this thing open right now? Or do you want to see me show off some of the other uh, stuff? And oh, yo. <laughs> Chase Figs. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if she knows Spanish. She literally said it's Spanish. Yeah, dude, that's how you say Spanish if you're Hispanic. It's Spanish. <laughs> that's that's she said it exactly right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys want to see me move on to this or you also have you uh, Espen. Yo, what up, Shardimus? How have you been? Remember me, bro? That uh, uh, the dude that believes Superman could beat Goku, which he can. You think Superman's gonna do, could do it? I, I you know, I, I honestly think Superman has demonstrated a limitation to his power set, and Goku has not. That that's basically where I'm getting at. You know what I mean? That that that's to me where it really comes down to. Mm. Uh, black coffee is good. I like, all right. Anyway, um, way better for your body than the potassium benzoates. You know what I mean? Like if you're a co if you're a caffeine person, go with the coffee over the potassium benzoates. But this one I'm going to open up right over here. I'm very excited about. So I've only had, I think I've only had one of these guys and I've been wanting to get more than one for quite some time already. Or did I, God damn it, I lose track of shit sometimes. And then we have... The Shore Trooper right over here, re-released. So there's another goodie right there. Definitely down to open this one up. And, oh, man, Death Troopers. Oh, did they? Yeah. And here's another Death Trooper. I don't know if I'm going to be actually opening this one. This one may This one may be a giveaway. I, I Maybe or maybe not. Don't hold me to it because if I decide, if I decide not, you know, again, let's not get confused. I want to thank Hasbro for sending these my way. It's up. It's my discretion. It's up to me if I want to like pass them on to anybody else. It's not mandatory. It's not part of why they sent them to me. They, they wanted me to show them off. So that is dope. I may or may not keep this one. Not 100% sure. These three, three quarter inch figures. Oh, yeah. I wanted another one of these. Uh, these guys, I, I don't. Wow. See, now they're keeping the three three quarter inch Star Wars line going. That that has no halt. And I actually have a place for this guy. So I'm I'm pretty excited for the ATST driver right here. That's pretty sweet. So I do have an ATST that I want to put him in. So I'm God, is it is it sacrilege to sneak him into an ATAT though? Can I try to sneak him into an ATAT? I mean, I know it's not, you know, like I don't know. Let, let me know. And then uh oh, uh, let's see here what Gojira Stop Motion asks. Uh, hey, dude, have you seen the new Shattered Glass of Megatron that's coming? I have seen the images. Uh, looks very neat, but I can't go that route. I can't I can't be doing that anymore. I bought the side. Uh, see, I, I even lost track. See, sometimes I pick up stuff. And I'm like, oh, that looks really badass. Definitely wanted that. 
and I'm going to review that motherfucker and everything. And then like, uh, I get it. And I'm like, Oh, all right. Uh, and then other stuff comes in that I think is cooler or more interesting from what you guys want to see. And then, so that's kind of like what happened with that blue side swipe. I can't even remember its name right off the bat. I mean, I love the color blue. I'm going to like the figure, but, um, yeah, I, I try to I try to chill. So basically I try to ch chill on the stuff that I know that's a little too excessive. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, this right here looks pretty sweet. Oh, what the pop blue pop blue. Okay. I, I couldn't recognize his, him just by looking at him, but we have pop blue right here. Three, three quarter inch. And then this used to be a Disney. I, I believe the, the hover tank driver used to be a Disney, uh, um, an exclusive for Disneyland, right? Am I wrong about that? Or did this originally, was this originally part of the, the uh, multi-pack set that came uh, with a bunch of other troopers and everything, which I did pick up, but I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, Cause I think he was an, an exclusive. Uh, the blue side swipe is called deep cover. Yeah. Yeah. Deep cover. Yeah. Deep cover. Thank you. Gojira. And uh, Sapphire storm says, everyone stop spamming. I decided. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, it, whoever's spamming, try not to spam. You know what I mean? Like, really, try, try knock that shit off. Pretend I, I pretend I let you into my home and I invited you over my house. You know what I mean? Like, be cool. Be cool, right? Let's act like that. Let's, let's treat it like that kind of situation, right? You don't want to do... You don't want to be a... You don't want to make everybody uncomfortable here and then we have our g1 greedo looking sweet this is very very cool i like this a lot um i got to hang out with greedo actually quite a bit in minnesota that was pretty amazing um uh peter if i remember off the top of my head i think it's peter i'm trying i don't know why i'm doing the politician thumb where the hell is this? Like, when do I do this? I never do that. But, like, yeah. This Greedo right here, G1 colors. Looks pretty sick. Sick. Yeah, everything gets called G1 when you're referring to the original, all right? You guys know what I'm talking about when I say G1. But, yeah, this looks really cool. I do want to keep this mint on card. That looks really, really neat like that. I like that stuff. Yeah, I have had Star Wars figures mint on card uh, this whole time for a very, very long time. But, um. I want to I want to crack open some figures and I'd like to know uh let's see first let's go ahead and start let's do the Tuscan Raider first off let's go with the Tuscan Raider right here I'm trying to look up over there and see exactly how many other Tuscan Raiders I have really really quick hold on a second let me just take a peek over here so I can see my own uh display that I have I have just the one right uh, Hold on, I have to go across the garage just to double check. Because I also want to see if there's any difference uh, between this one and the other one I have. And I don't think there's going to be. But yeah, it's just the one. Oh, and we got Mace Windu here too. Holy crap, this looks really good. This is not really bad looking at all. Like for real, dude. There's... Uh, okay, so going to the Tuscan Raider. Oh, and uh, Sackard... So I, I, I think I'm saying that weird every time, but a sac, a Sacred, thank you very much. Uh, he says, you should definitely make a collection vid on the Marvel 3-3 three, th uh, three, three quarter inch figs once you have them on display. Don't uh, Doing throwback reviews on them would be cool too. Yeah, man. I uh, It would be... I would probably start with a collection video on them first and see how that goes. Um, there, that, that's something I'd, I'd be down to do. Yeah, man, I, you know, it's, I, I will give credit to the three, three quarter inch Marvel universe line, really helping things move forward for the six inch Marvel legends line. Dude, this looks dead on Mace Windu, like right off the bat. I'm, I'm trying to see. Yeah, dude. Oh, I mean, it's the same figure. The photo real tech is there. I, I can't see. I mean, this camera isn't so great. But, uh, yeah, there's little differences. I mean, I, I don't see any difference at all here between these windows. I mean, nothing at all. The, the, this original version I have is just fine. 
Like they, they really do look the same to me. So I, I'm happy for that. But at the same time, it's like, it would have been nice to have maybe like, uh, like if it came with a Jingle Fett helmet, right? <laughs> if they could throw something else in there, just have like a Jingle Fett helmet sitting there or, or something. Is that too dark? Did I go too dark? All right, let's crack this thing open right here. Uh, once again, I like to demonstrate my cutting technique uh, for uh, packages that I think... I mean, I'm not going to preserve this, but I'm just going to demonstrate with this if you guys want to see it. And, uh, oh, 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 someone's worked up. Let's see. Char uh, es Espenza, what the fuck, Charmis? What are you talking about? Uh, you know what, Shardamus, you have your opinion, and I respect that, and I have my own, but Superman would have a good fight with Goku. That is a fact, regardless. Either way, no matter who wins, that would be a dope-ass fight. But where is the limit on Goku? Because I've seen the limit on Superman. Superman needs the sun, right? I mean, Goku gets hungry, but I, I just feel like the way the characters are written... Goku always has a next level to get to. And I feel like Superman's powers do have um, a point of where they uh, of where they actually kind of stop, right? I don't know. I don't know. And what what and and what Superman are we talking about specifically here? You know what I mean? There's I I, I think we're just talking regular comic Superman, right? Tom Bowling, how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Did those Target exclusive Black Series retro carded Clone Wars pre-orders ever drop? I don't know off the top of my head. My head. I I think I saw people posting about uh, those pre-orders not that long ago. So um, that's very much, you know, they, they very much could have, um, but I just was not on top of that. So yeah, I, I do not know. But someone let Tom know in the uh, comment section below. Hey, Russ. Oh, we're on first name basis. Roy. Huh? Because I don't know what your fucking face looks like, dude. And you're calling me Russ. Like, I know you and you know me. I have a problem with that. That's all right, bro. I'm just kidding. But it, that all kind of does run through my head just a little bit. Stick to the Shardimus. Hey, Shardimus. Uh, could you please show off your bottom two shelves of your big black Marvel shelf? I feel like you haven't shown that in ages. Very good question, Roy. Um, I have, uh, I, I can't because my daughter is sleeping in the room uh, next to the dork room. That's why I am here and not there. So I will not do that right now. But um, one day I will show off that, that part of the dork room, that part of the display. Um, but yeah, Tuscan Raiders, man. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. What uh, was Skellington Roblox says? Are you going to review the MK11 McFarlane Baraka? I thought I did. I thought I did review that already. Does this? Okay, yeah. The inside of this is the same. This is a really cool figure. I mean, I have it already, but still, it, it's just a really, really good figure. Um, Lego Galaxy Productions asks, hey, do your figures ever fall? Of course they fall. Don't you see them falling over all the time in the background? I mean, when was the last time you watched a P.O. Box pickup video? They, they fall all the time. I like how they've tucked all this in underneath right here. I guess that works better for the packaging. I'd forgotten about that. But wow, a lot of soft goods here. Damn. I wonder how that interplays in the cost of this figure line having so many soft goods like i wonder how that works out because i know soft goods is a pain in the pantalones and uh yeah so i wonder how um like i wonder how until i've been thinking about my own figure line a little bit i'm like looking at things like <laughs> i'm looking at things in regards to like damn how expensive was it for this to be made like for real though um all right we have i'm gonna give this one oh is this a new accessory did, did this come with the original i don't think this uh sniper blaster came with the original i could be wrong about that but <clears throat> uh, i'm like showing it off like you could actually see anything Ooh, I was swinging my arms a bit. like you could kind of see some of the paint Paint detail. I would like to get a nicer camera for these live streams. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, here, Thomas uh, Tate's account says, Sup, Shardimus, what is your rarest figure in your collection? Ooh. 
Oh man, um, I I really don't have that many like rare like serious collectibles or anything like that. Like I don't I don't really keep um, like expensive rarities around. It's like all sentimental stuff. Hey, thank you so much, Jonathan de Jesus. Muchas gracias, amigo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, uh, oh yeah, I know, I know. I, I have thought of this, Edward. Thank you. I, I have already thought of this. Yeah, this has already gone through through uh, my head. I've been kind of thinking about uh, designs for that and stuff already. Yeah, <laughs> I've been enjoying, I thank you guys so much for the positive feedback on the give a chart, by the way. I appreciate that a lot because I've been racking my head around trying to do something uh, unique and and a little bit different and uh, trying to show some more personality into the channel and everything. And, and uh, that satisfies that craving that I had to kind of change things up. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like, like I, I just get the itch to do something a little bit unique and different. I, I feel like making these videos is can be an artistic challenge if I want it to be. Or for anybody, you know what I mean? Like, you can make an action figure review. You can hold the figure up in front of the camera and say, hey, here's that, there's that, there's that. Hey, listen to me, read this. You can do that. Or you can make something that's truly unique and uh, and, and go real far with it, you know what I mean? And do kind of different kinds of stuff. So that's what I try to do is I try to I try to push myself to do things that I think are unique and fun. Um, Cosmic Crusher's got a long one right here. Uh, Cosmic Crusher says, Char, have you ever thought about maybe doing a stop motion series? I know uh, I have started one and stopped it after the third episode. So please check out those first three episodes of the Marvel Legends Letdowns if you haven't already. But yes, I have a stop motion series already. And uh, I, I, I know you know Loseus One. Maybe you can collab for a, and we have collabed before. Uh, and your main character for your series can be Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Yeah, th this shit exists, bro. Look it up. Look it up. It, it exists already, man. But thank you for the question, and uh, and hopefully you can check it out, and hopefully you enjoy it. But aside from the Marvel Legends letdowns, um, I have a I have a very uh, I have a full stop motion video. Um, that I am working on that, that I will be working on. So I haven't started working on it yet, <laughs> but the concept and the idea of it and where I want to go with it and how I'm going to have it interplay with the channel, that part of it is mostly organized in my head. It's just a matter. Oh, action figure. Kaka. Nice. All right. So um, that part I have organized. I just have to figure out, I just have to actually shoot it and write a script out and and make it all. So, uh, but yeah, I've been racking my head around what I want to do with the stop motion and stuff. It's it's a little bit tricky. Um, I mean, eh, whatever. But it's it's tricky to do for me right now. But I'm gonna make it happen. So, um, uh, oh hey, uh, Josue, how's it going, man? How you doing, dude? Thank you so much. Hey, bro, how you and the family doing? And thank you so much for picking up the figure, dude. Thank you. Um, I, dude, yeah, we're doing really well, man. Um, my, my almost two year old is taking a nap. My three year old is is hanging out with my wife right now, and they're doing well. And um, yeah, yeah, can't complain. Everyone's doing good. Wife and I are vaccinated and stuff, so we're, we're all happy about that. Hope and uh, yeah, if anyone has a chance to do it, I hope I hope you all, uh, you know take advantage of that because I hope I just want everyone to be happy and healthy. You know what I mean? So um, how much can I buy a coffee stain for? Well, it depends on the size of the coffee stain and which coffee stain, like if you want like the coffee stain from the review station, that's up on, on uh, that's on like a uh, eBay or something. <laughs> it's a uh, coffee stains are free. Coffee stains are free. So uh, I'm a generous man. I give away coffee stains for free. Um, so, uh, Skullington says, Goodbye, Shardamish. I wish I could stay longer, but I'll be here again eventually. Have a good day or night. Hey, it's it's almost nighttime here. You have a good day or night as well, Skullington31. Um, yeah. Oh, pickle. I, I mean, yeah, if you got to poop, 
go poop. Or bring your phone or your laptop with you, and that way you could poop while Shardmas Prime is with you while you're on the toilet. I'm not going to lie. Once in a while, I see comments. I don't respond to everything, but I do read a bunch of comments. And I, and occasionally, occasionally I see comments saying, Shardmas just wanted you to know, I watched this while I was on the toilet. It makes me smile every time. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it, I love it. Okay. It makes me really happy to hear that. I don't know why. A little bit weird. Kind of a weird guy, but it, it makes me smile when I read that. I, I think it, it it's flattering in one way or another. Maybe because I understand the value of those lonely moments <laughs> taking a dump. <laughs> All right. Uh, cosmic. Um, Oh, wait, they're, they're going by fast. Here you go. Hey, Shard, uh, Siakirin Isa, what language is that from? Hey, Shar, do you want to branch out to model kits someday? Ah, good question. Very good question. I have dabbled. I have dabbled and, um, and I have retreated from doing so. Don't have the time. Don't like the feeling of the edges of my fingertips feeling like they're going to turn into like bones because all the skin getting ripped away from picking stuff off the trees and everything. But I did build a, I, I many years ago, I built a master grade Gundam kit and I got to say the experience itself, aside from how much time it took, it took me about five hours to put that together and the pain. I actually enjoyed it. Aside from those two factors, I actually enjoyed it. And I love the figure to this day. I've thought about lining it up and everything. I haven't done that, but I'm not doing that shit again. I do. I did a uh, big thanks to Theron who had sent me a bunch of uh, Bandai model Star Wars figures. And I do like those a lot. I do miss the weight though. I, I don't like the emptiness of the model kits. That that does bother me. Um, Enseñame tu figura de Marvel Legends Morag de Hasbro. Aquí tengo. Uh, aquí está. Right. He asked me, show me your Marvel Legends Modoc figure from Hasbro. But there it is. Aquí está el Modoc. So there we go. There we go. There we go. And uh, yeah. So oh, there's a guy named Double Jointed Films. Oh, I think I may have read this before. I'm pooping out my Domino's pizza from last night. Oh, does it smell as good on the way out? as the way in because sometimes with that fast food stuff it can still smell good while you're pooping it out you know that's how you know it's no that's horrible <laughs> i'm really just kidding i've never i've never taken <laughs> i've never i'm totally joking i've never taken a dump where, hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> Just the idea of that just cracks me up. Can you imagine someone taking a dump and smelling their own shit and going, I guess that's next level narcissism, right? Well, like, no, it's not that I don't think my shit don't smell. It's just that I think my shit is delicious. It's like, wow, dude, you are. <laughs> uh, Shepard Motors says, hey, Shardimus, I need some help with the Abomination Wave Captain America shield. Did it break? Because if it broke, no one's going to help you, man. You're done. Is it's, uh, you, they're getting in line with everybody else, and that line should be in Rhode Island. Too many of those shields break, bro. It sucks ass for everybody. I've got a few broken ones myself, so it's one of those things where it's like, oh, welcome to collecting Marvel Legends. Unfortunately, that part's just the reality. Uh, Niall, they, they, oh, hey, Shardimus, I sent you a DM on Instagram about your interview with the Marvel Legends team. Can you check it out when you get a chance? Thanks. We had the, hello. bro, I got two kids and I got a lot of shit going on. So if you want to ask me something, here's the place. Now is the time. I don't got time to go through a fuck ton of messages right now because it's a lot, bro. What I, I try to every now and then, but it's, it's. I'm not trying to sound condescending or any or anything like that. Just imagine there's a lot there. Take my word for it. There's a lot there. And, um, and right now is not the, th I, yeah. So if you want to, if you want to write something, I'll keep an eye out. What were you called again? Um, <laughs> devil's do says I do all the time, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You know, 
the mofongo is delicious both both ways right <laughs> but um yeah bro that's all funny I, I i'll recognize your name but yeah whatever you wanted to ask me maybe ask me here or, or whatnot but um i i honestly do go through my ig messages once in a while or facebook messages or uh, Inst- uh i don't think I, I ever really do it with twitter but with like facebook and instagram once in a while i will give myself a few minutes and just kind of like go through messages and stuff like that and try to answer uh people's concerns you know pe- people may have questions about like like legit good questions that i that i feel like hey you know it's nice if i can answer <laughs> afx i love that chicken from popeyes oh yeah that's another one both ways especially the spicy right the spicy especially now you gotta think about that next time you're pooping popeyes <laughs> glad you're enjoying it matt uh time warp film says i'm i'm still peeing at the same time i'm watching bro do not drop the phone don't drop your phone okay please oh get a pee pee on your ear next time you know who knows right all right we're getting we're, we're getting i'm letting myself get all gross but hey you know what what's 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 the channel called again uh, all right and then tommy here says hey shark my guy big fan love the hat i am curious if you like hockey and if so how did you get into it sorry i keep asking you hey that's cool man so i'm from california so my my answer to that is a big fuck no i'm not into hockey like really i'm not into hockey at all i will say i did play in uh, an nes game like crazy like crazy, uh, spit in my mouth. Sorry. Like crazy. Way back in the day, you know, I have some friends that are actually really into hockey. That they love the San Jose Sharks and they go to the Sharks games and stuff. But he's like the one friend that I have that does that. Like, like not a lot of people out here in Northern California um, really give too much of a shit about hockey. But um, I mean, like if I got invited to go to one, I've never really turned down going to to games and stuff even if it's a sport i'm not really into uh so you know but yeah i'm just really not into hockey bro i'm sorry i'm, I'm just or i'm not I'm not sorry for not being into something but yeah not really into that um but hey cool though you know actually i don't really watch any sports i, I just don't have time to invest like three to four hours into a game you know like even video games i can't spend three or four hours playing video games you know I just don't, it's not, it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, do I want to go practice my double kick pedal? Because I need to catch up and get some work done on my double kick pedal techniques. I also have some independence issues with my left foot clave that I need to clear up that I've been really working at for a long time. So it's like practicing drums and playing music is always in my head. So it's like whenever there's free time, first thing I do, aside from playing with the kids, I'm on the kit. I'm practicing on my drums, throw on the metronome, get some and and go through some books or play along with some tunes. I love playing music. So if I have three hours to kill, I'm going to play some drums or go to a concert. You know, that's that's my shit right there is music. Music is my number one passion. Uh, Cosmic Crusher. I like this name, bro. I just got to say, like, good username choice put a lot of thought into my username so when i see people with usernames that i like i always i always show a little appreciation and uh he says uh and assuming it's a he no i watched all the stop motions uh, oh you did i mean like kind of like how Lozaeus does it you know like big time spider-man uh part 94 for example like a series taken all around your house or even all over the dork room fuck no i'm doing that hell no never i will never do that until my kids move out how about that there's no way dude that guy's kids are all like grown and driving and shit i have toddlers man there's no way there's no way it's happening um the other thing is if i did something like that no action figure reviews like you guys you understand stop motion takes a long time right like there's a huge step between like amateur looking like like there's amateur stop motion and then there's Lozaeus, which is pro stop motion i don't know mine's like in between probably closer to here but even just for me getting into that 
middle range, that's a huge amount of extra time. So just between like your average, you know, amateur first time stop motion bullshit compared to my weak ass mid range level stop motion bullshit, like that's a huge amount of time difference spent on the stop motion. I'm I'm doing Photoshopping and all that stuff, and Loseus is doing Photoshop. Oh my god, the amount of work he puts into his stop motion is insane. It's scary. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, JD says, I can't wait for Spider-Man No Way Home to come out. Hopefully there are new suits so we can get new Marvel Legends. <laughs> I like the way you think, JD. I like the way you think. Uh, yeah, dude, I am very excited. I was watching um, Far From Home, uh, not all of it the other night, but man, I, I was really... Um, yeah, I was really enjoying watching Far From Home again, but I had to stop and I was I had it on while I was reviewing and then I had to stop so I could keep reviewing. And then Tom Bowling says, speaking of music, are you doing anything with the jazz band? Oh, my beloved jazz band. So the piano player moved away. There's this thing. If, if you're another musician, you know that there's what I call my personal rock stars. People that whenever I get to play with them, like I look forward to it, like as if I were to play with like Paul McCartney or somebody like that, like people in my life that I'm like, oh, I get to play with that dude. Fuck yeah. I like that. That guy's amazing. I cannot wait to play with that guy. So the piano player is the best musician in that band, aside from the director. And he just moved away. So he had to move away. Um, changes in, you know, COVID and all that stuff, man. Uh, and the director moved to the East Coast, if I understand that correctly. So my jazz band is all like dismembered at the moment. I'm the only one. Uh, and, and then the trombone player uh, works at the post office. So I always get to see the trombone player and we get to talk about the jazz band all the time. But right now it's kind of looking like it's in, in pieces and I can't can't wait to get back to it. But in the meantime, that piano player has been recording these songs. He wrote a, he wrote a new song called Hulk Smash and um and it's it's a really good jazzy tune with a lot of latin uh and funk parts in it so i'm still playing still doing my thing i've actually practiced out of a bebop uh it's a it's a bebop book um and it's like a pretty standard like if you're trying to learn charlie parker bebop or anything like that you got to go through that book and i've been uh, and i've been doing that i i next tuesday will be my First real day back at Guitar Center. So that's that's awesome. I'm really stoked about that. So I'll be teaching again next week. And um, yeah, getting that other source of income and getting the social interaction with the drum lessons is finally happening again. I'm very excited about that. But um, but yeah, man, uh, which DC TV show you like? Uh, I, I, I can't really watch TV series so much it's kind of like 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 that's the one you know when, when you have kids you have to let some shit go you, it's just a fact like anybody anybody out there interested in making the babies you're gonna have to let some shit go some guys quit the band some guys stop their youtube channel i had to stop buying comics every week and i had to stop watching shows so i don't watch shit unless it's like oh wait invincible gotta watch that and then i watch it in pieces all by myself or, um, or, uh, I, I saw the first episode of the bad batch that one I was able to watch with the kids around actually, uh, Lord Emetron was actually really into it. So that was pretty cool. I got to watch the bad batch. However, still many times I had to put it on pause because Mila was throwing a fit and stuff like that. And, um, Lisa, I do, I am not caught up with episode eight yet. So please nobody, uh, tell me anything about episode eight, but I love invincible. Um, I love the book. I like what they're doing with this show because it's pretty different from the book, but still very similar. So I, I'm, I'm liking, I'm really liking Invincible. I need to catch up and watch episode eight. It took me quite some time to finish Falcon and the Winter Soldier to give you guys a perspective. Like I seriously, seriously wanted to finish that show way earlier than I did, but it took me a while. Um, yeah, so it's, you know, uh, this hat is, oh, it's like a mando. There's lint all over this thing. Jeez, what a filthy beanie. Speaking of jazz, do you guys know who this guy is? Do you guys know who this guy is? Props to anybody who knows who this guy is because I wear this shirt a lot and I love this 
and I love that particular musician. All right, Roy DeCock, you take care, man. <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh, all right, that's cool. But hey, you know what I mean? Like, see, that's the thing about YouTube is that you guys come hang out with me and we talk about toys and stuff, but there's all kinds of other shit that I'm into that, you know, like, like this guy right here. Nobody knows who that is. All right. You know, uh, thank you so much. Star hero 69. Uh, sorry. It's not much, but thank you for inspiring me. Hey, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Very, very cool of you. And I am very happy to inspire. That's always incredibly flattering to, to hear that at all. That, that, that's, that's a huge compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Espen still on the Goku shit. Let's see here. Uh, Goku have been cut by glass, bro. And bro. Okay. This is one of those times where I wish that there was an age like right next to usernames. Like I wish it was mandatory. Cause I could tell by the way you're writing Espen. There's no way I could prove this for sure. So you could lie and I will never know, but I want to guess your age. And I, I, I just by the way you're writing right here, Goku have been cut by glass, bro. And what have Superman been cut by? None. Not to be mean, bro. Please forgive me. See, I, I, I'm going to say 15 years old, maybe 13 years old, definitely no older than 19 years old. How, how how am I guessing, Espen? How am I guessing? 14! Yes! I was close. I said 15 and then 13. He said he's 14 years old. I believe it. I believe it, man. Yeah, so you're 14. I'm about 40 years old. So imagine talking to somebody who's like negative five years old. <laughs> um, but yeah, that that see, that's how I know. I, 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 I could sense it, I, I, I could, but I think 14 to Luis. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, then. All right. Hey, 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 I, I'm going to any all dude, all caps. I'm not even fucking reading that shit. I'm, I'm going to putting that on timeout right there. Nerd nerd. Oh, wait, was it the wrong guy? Did I put the wrong guy on timeout now? Luckily it's only timeout. Nobody's blocked, but if you're going to write in all caps like that, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate People coming into my house and yelling their fucking face off. That's not a cool thing to do, right? Right? You don't do that shit when you come into someone's house and just start screaming. So all the all caps thing, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. All right. But you know what I do like? Ah. All right. So anyway, getting back to the the subject matter at hand. Oh, by the way, I think I, I came in. The original one I have did come with this this gun. I, I do remember it now. As I'm getting him to hold it, I'm like, I've, I've done this before. I, I remember this. I remember it being a pain in the ass to get him to hold it in the left hand. But yes, I have two Tuscan Raiders. <laughs> and I just need a third. So that's my, that's, you know, eventually I, it's taken me this long to get two. You know, the second one just landed on my lap like this. That's how invested I am into doing it. Eventually, I'll buy myself a third one, you know, and, and if I come across it at a toy show or something like that one day. Oh, I can't wait to go back to toy shows. But uh, did I, did, I think uh, Nerdified is back, right? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Nerdified said, uh, how do you feel about the retro 3.25 figures that everyone seems to be making again with the card back? I think it's cool. I have... I, what happened to my voice? <laughs> Let's go. No, but I have a couple. Um, they, actually, they're not right here. But um, what the hell is wrong with me? I have a couple. I just bought one of the Marvel Legend three three quarter in, three inch figures uh, from Akari. So I have that on the way. I would have bought it if I'd seen it at the store, but I didn't buy it. It's the it's a freaking Hulk one, right? I'm just spoiler spoiler alert i bought a hulk figure <laughs> but yeah no for real i bought the hulk uh retro three three quarter inch or 3.25 inch i guess I, I didn't realize it was 3.25 i always thought they're three three quarter inch but yeah whatever um but yeah that one i did pick up big thanks just plain steve thank you so much damn homie did you eat a bowl of sugar for dinner hope all is well man okay steve this is what happens bro before starting this live stream I want to go take a fucking nap. <laughs> so it's one of those things. It's a set. It's, it's a second wind. Basically you're, you're, you're 
we, we've all caught me on my second wind right here, and I'm drinking some black coffee to keep me awake. But yeah, I, I had to really hustle to get the Cabal, uh, the McFarland Toys Cabal video done today so I could have an early access video of it. It'll go live tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I, I want to really, I want to play and do uh, a different thing with the green screen and. Um, that shit takes a lot of fucking time. So when that happens, it kind of just throws everything out of whack. And then I get all super tired because I've been, you know, on the computer doing the shit for how long. And then I got to, you know, catch that second wind. Um, I thought I saw somebody write something. Oh, here, here we go. Uh, Ulysses writes, uh, are you going to review the deluxe Boba Fett? <sighs> I want to, but I don't think a lot of people really would. I, I don't know that that one. I have it. But that one I'm 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 feeling like is on you guys more. I don't know. Do you guys want to see? I mean, I know you do now, Lisa. So you're asking me about it. But um, yeah, it depends on how how many people would really want to see that video. See me talk about that video from you. Put the time into it. I, I think I think so. I don't know. I, that's the very first character released from Star Wars Black series. So. Um, Aaron says, Hey, short me gusta uh, bastante la figura del mujer maravilla, <laughs> maravilla, uh, la mujer maravilla. Uh, que es la mujer maravilla? Is that Ms. Marvel? But he's saying he likes, he, he, he likes very much the, uh, the, the female, I think it's Ms. Marvel is what he's saying, right? I guess that's how that translates. See, my Spanish is not great. A lot of work to do. If I lived in Costa Rica for a month, man, and then came back, I would be set. I would be like fluent. Like I, I would be super fluent. You you would not tell, I, I think. I did I did watch the the first episode of The Bad Batch. Hopefully that comes out weekly. I like that shit. I, I think that's dope that um that Disney does that. I like it. Oh, Wonder Woman. Is that what that is? Oh, Mujer Maravilla is Wonder Woman. Oh, that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That. Thank you. All right. Oh, okay. And then I think Ulysses translated it. Thank, thanks, you guys. All right. So, uh, okay. And then what was the question? Um, I, I like, or what is my favorite Wonder Woman figure? Is that what it? I think he's asking me what my favorite Wonder Woman figure was. And uh, where can I find the Bloody Cabal? I, I think it I, I think that's gonna be everywhere, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um the um I am really liking the amazing Yamaguchi Wonder Woman figure. I never reviewed it, but I really like that figure a lot. Hulk versus Superman is a good one. I, I tend to give that to Superman. Even though I like the Hulk more, um, I, I do feel like Hulk, I think there's more that could stop. I, I, I think the Rage of Hall kind of prevents the logical thinking needed to really win a fight. You got to use your brains, right? You got to really use your brains. And I think the Hulk doesn't have that that right capacity to really win a battle against someone as, as strong as Superman. You know what I mean? It, it's got to be more than just the brute strength, right? I don't know. It's like Stan Lee said, pardon me. Stan Lee says like, whoever's writing the damn comic, that's who wins. Like who, that, that, that's how that goes. But it's fun to think about it though. I was, I was thinking to myself like, yeah, but Stan, we like to fantasize. It's kind of fun, you know? Marvel guy, I've I've kind of been more interested in Marvel than Star Wars, so I haven't been paying much attention. What's the general plot of the Bad Batch first episode? Oh yeah, uh, well the it's it's a rescue mission kind of thing. So that it's basically Order sixty six goes down without spoiling stuff. It, it it's kind of like um, rescue mission uh, and then, um, some backstabbing within the group of the bad batch, you know, so there's their traitor, you know, somebody, you know, trustworthy or not trustworthy and rescue mission. So without giving too much away, but it's fun. I, I, I recommend it. I love my star Wars. So, um, but like you said, you're, you're more of a Marvel guy. Understand that. 
Um, and the animation's really good, too. Animation's really good. Uh, Neil Robinson, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Uh, love your song, Posing Action Figures Every Day. Oh, right on, man. Thank you. Hey, Skate 2, awesome. Hey, I grew up on skate punk, so hearing that makes me really happy. I want to make a full album. I've got a full album. I've got this song called The Glute that I really want to make. That, that, that I've written this song, but I haven't recorded the glute. And it's it's a it's a really I think I kind of played it maybe a little bit acoustic or something at one point. But yeah, um, you know, the song it, it, it's about it, the glute is um it's a song inspired by the lack of Captain Marvel's ass. So it's one of those things where it's kind of like poking fun at myself a little bit on how people can get worked up over something so superficial as butt cheeks um and that's kind of like what it is so it's like a, it's a, it's a song poking fun at myself and people like me that really love ass but in a fun kind of way so i don't know one day i'll make it one day i won't but um but yeah it, I, I mean come on butt outrage i i, I thought that <laughs> i'm I, I find it hilarious. I, I love it. It, it. it cracks me up. The fact somebody photoshopped Tom Holland's ass on <laughs> on Brie Larson is the fucking funniest shit to me, man. That is hilarious. Someone took this dude's butt and put it on a woman, and she looked way better. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only one that I know I'm not the only one that finds that to be funny as hell, but come on, dude. No, I just, I find, I found that to be just hella funny. Just straight up. I mean, dude, come on, man. Like, just imagine if I was overweight and I had like big man, man breastuses and then someone photoshopped my chest and put it on a woman and she looked better like that like uh, that is dude that is hilarious to me i'm sorry I'm not sorry but i think it's just funny i, I say that too casually mentioned uh legend icon says do you want to see toby mcguire and andrew garfield in spider-man new way home yes i've addressed this several times and i definitely do Definitely do. And then uh, Nixel, they, they all, no problem. I totally understand. The question I had on Instagram was, ah, could you ask the Marvel Legends team about their thoughts on variants in the next interview you have with them on your channel? Ah, yeah. All right, good. Um, that's a good question. I thought I asked them about variants. I know not on the most recent one, but um, I thought that was a question I had. But going, wait, going back to this, hold on a second. Well, their thoughts on variants. Okay, so the last I heard was that the last run of variants that we'd gotten were accidental, like product run variants. Like, for instance, the Psylocke figure, right? The Psylocke figure with the, uh, uh, you know, one with the purple hair and the black hair. Like, the, the way that was explained to me is that that was a mistake and that shouldn't have happened that kind of way. So um yeah that that was that was my understanding on that so anyway it's it we're past the one hour mark and i've opened only one figure so bed shirt <laughs> sorry i saw borat too i thought that was hilarious that's where that's where the inspiration came from <laughs> anyone see borat too anyone find that shit hilarious i thought that movie was funny as hell um <laughs> I put the baby inside her. Bad me. Like, oh my god, dude. Uh, all right. Nope, nobody. All right. Anyway. Uh, hey, have you got any new hot toys or pre-order any? Yeah, it took me a while. I had to, you know, hot toys aren't cheap, you know. So I had to, you know, sell some stuff and move things and and uh, save up. But I have the latest hot toys Spider-Man figure. In my loot so it needs to be shipped but hopefully in about two weeks in about two weeks i'll have another hot toys action figure review coming your way so stay tuned you guys that spider-man that modern spider-man figure looks dope as hell um the uh oh yeah yeah the father-daughter dance i 
died, dude. I was cracking up. Oh, oh, dude, my wife was dying. Oh, the the knees going. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious oh dude that is so funny yeah thanks for bringing that up because i love that <laughs> that was so funny but um so this is my right hand this is my left hand all right i want to see an r if you want the right one or an l if i should do the left one r l r l r l r l r l Huh? We're good. I, I don't see any yet. I think there's a lag on my end. But oh, R R R R R, dude, I got like six R's already. Looks like it's going to the uh, the sand trooper or the beach trooper. R, we got one left, Mr. Joke Bone. What's going on, brother? How you doing? All right, it's 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 unanimous. Any any R L R R L R L L's out there? Nope. Inside joke for drummers. Nobody got that. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open right here. What's that smell? Oh, it's me. Sorry. Sorry. That happens. Okay. So here we go. Go ahead and crack this thing open. God, I like. I really like this paint scheme right here. I mean, just this design. So you like to cut all the way across like that. And then cut up the thing right here. Careful, because you got the thumb real close to the knife. So you don't want to slice the thumb. That's like the that's the tricky part. Cause if you do that, you might get blood on your figure, and you don't want that. So here we go. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. No, actually, I do smell a thing. Uh, I just want to make sure everything's okay. There's there there was like a little bit of a burning kind of smell. Like I joke around saying it's me, but um, yeah, I did actually smell something for a second. Here we go. Ooh, figure open. Got the blaster right there, looking pretty sweet. And then we have the beach trooper, sand trooper. I always I know it's it's the shore trooper. I tend to call it the beach trooper. But this is always a dope fig. I love this thing. Oh man, all that paint detail on here. Wait, this is a little bit. Is this now? I feel like oh, they've added paint detail on this. No wonder I smelt something. Holy crap! Oh, dude. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. Okay, everything's fine. All okay. right. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool. Damn. No wonder. Shh. Okay. I have a little heater here that was accidentally on. So that's why I was smelling something. I was like, what the hell? Damn, you guys would have watched me just like go up in flames, literally go on fire. And then I hear a fire truck right now. Yep, I hear a fire truck right now. That's that's hella funny. Oh, all right, here we go. Uh, Espen, sorry for being mean. You were not mean. You were just being 14. You're all, you're good, man. Uh, didn't mean to, but just, uh, I'm not reading the all caps. I told you I don't like the all caps. So, uh, hey, Shardimus, have any tips on fixing a loose thigh swivel on a Toy Biz Spider-Man? Dude, I'm not, I, I don't want to go there because I don't want you to ruin your Spider-Man figure. And I don't want you to ruin it because of me either. But so do this at your own risk for real. Like really, really do it at your own risk. Anybody else trying this? Be careful. But what you want to do, but what has worked for me in the past is I've gotten just a little tiny. Like you may want to do it like on the back of the thigh joint where it's not going to be as visible. But if you drop just a little tiny, tiny bit of super glue in there, What's even better, actually, is if you heat it up, if you're able to remove the leg, <coughs> excuse me, if you're able to remove the leg, which is a lot trickier on the Toy Biz figures than the Hasbro figures, so keep that in mind. But if you just dab a tiny, tiny bit of super glue, your own risk, and keep that shit swiveling while it dries. So it's going to look real weird, but you're going to be going like this. <sighs> that's what it looks like when i do it and keep it spinning i think neem reg gave me this tip many years ago and it worked out okay 
it worked out okay. There may be other tips out there. So do some research, but that's my piece of advice, which I don't think is the best piece of advice out there for that particular situation. So um, hopefully, you know, hopefully it works out one way or another. Uh, and to two weeks production to two production, uh, is the Marvel legends, 2021 Modoc worth the 50 bucks? Yes. Uh, not that it matters to me cause I already bought that, but in your opinion, is it worth the 50 bucks? Yeah, dude. I think I said so in the review. No. Right. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, dude, that it's a build. It's essentially a build a figure. I mean, really any, any build a figure that's, that that's worth having. I immediately think is, is, is about is worth 50 bucks. Right. I mean, cause like on eBay, if you want any build a figure, you're looking at at least 50 bucks. <laughs> Um, hey, dude, would it be cool that Hasbro reveals a new Sentry? Yeah, I think we talked about this before last time with the Omega body mold, right? We talked about wanting to see that on an Omega body mold figure. So, yeah, that would be kind of cool to see for sure. I mean, not the number one figure I'd like to see be re released with that body mold. I would prefer to see a Venom first. So if I saw the Sentry first, I'd be like, oh, come on. We've been asking for you to do this with Venom for how long? Why not Venom? But, you know. I would definitely be interested. Definitely be interested if they did that. And, uh, ooh, we got a little, uh, is that a, uh, a paradiddle diddle? Or it's almost a paradiddle diddle, right? Right, left, right. Um, if you had, it's not a paradiddle diddle, it's a double paradiddle. Really, uh, not quite a double. Yeah, it's a double paradiddle. Got it. Thank you very much, DF38. I don't know why it took me that long to realize that it was a pair. It was a double paradiddle, but yeah, it's a double paradiddle. Thank you very much. I appreciate that because I love my, I love my drum nerd stuff, but yeah, the other side of that would be L R L R L L. So you could keep alternating back and forth. So right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right. It would sound, you guys want to hear me play on a pad? No. Okay. That's fine. Um, plus you guys didn't pay for drum lessons. Jeez. You don't want to come here to drum lessons, but I appreciate that DF three. Uh, Josue says, uh, what you think of pounds, nine, seven, eight custom figures, bro. I've reviewed a bunch of them. I love his work. He's amazing. Yeah. That venom figure he did. Pfft. I love seeing him work on other projects and other people doing it and stuff and, and everything. Like it's like, damn, that's like that. That's a uh, yeah. No, the guys, the, the guys crushing it. He's crushing it, man. I got the happy hair going. You know, call it the happy hair because that's kind of that's what the hair looked like coming out of the bedroom. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's been a long time since I've hung out with my friends, so I tend to joke around like I'm hanging out with my friends that are all comfortable with my weirdness when everybody isn't. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyway. <laughs> the happy hair. 50 people left the room immediately. Um, but yeah, what's the... Uh, King says, what's the best Iron Man Marvel Legends in you, in your opinion? Um, da, 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 that's a loaded question. What's your best... Uh, what's the best Iron Man Marvel Legends figure? Uh, you know what? Top of my list right now is the 80 years Iron Man. Like, it's going to change. You know what I mean? And especially with, like, last minute, um, you know, answering just right off the bat like that. This fucking beanie's hurting my freaking head. Ugh. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go crazy hairs. Or maybe I had to try on this other beanie right here. I'm trying to find just got, like, loads of beanies around. So, put on this beanie instead. All right. So, um, <laughs> the... Um, yeah, I'm going to say 80 years Iron Man for right now. For right now, right now. Uh, yeah, you like the hair? I just need to get it cut on the sides a little bit. I don't want to do too much. I just want to, like, spike up my hair and and cut a little bit of the hairs off to the sides and everything. So, yeah. The Shore Trooper, I want to grab the other ones just so I can compare the paint apps. So, will you guys hang tight just for a moment while I get that other, my other uh, Shore Trooper figures because i want to see a comparison 
I want to do a little comparison, 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 comparison time, comparison, comparison, share the crime. Yeah, I knew I had a, I had some with different paint apps because I was like, look, there's one that's like a captain or something. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got another tink one right here, too. Oh, this is not, I, I actually don't think this was part of that set. Now that I, now that I have this in hand right here. I don't think it's actually the same one. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So, but the the whole thing with the paint. So yeah, this. So this shore trooper is different from this is a shore trooper right here that I just opened. So you can see the paint apps are different. They have. I think this is like a captain or something because he's got the blue stripe going across, and he's got the shoulder pad with the blue right there. Whereas this regular one looks a lot more like this regular one. So these two are the same, same number of notches on the bicep and everything. So I'll be able to add him to the display. And then I'll just put them down right there for right now. Then this guy is the same. So yeah, this is the hover tank driver who liked the solo movie. I liked the solo movie. I'll tell you that Charlita one and I both liked it. And yeah, all right, cool. Over team trooper. Yeah, I'm down. I love my troopers, man. I've got a trooper problem. I like troopers. I really do, though. I don't know what it is. I don't know why exactly, but I really like my troopers, man. The texturing and all that shit right there. Oh, it looks so sick, man. It looks so sick. All right. So let's see here. Let's see here, man. I can't. Ah, uh, I can't really talk about it but i wish i could talk about my own action figure line you know what i mean that, that's that's like the hardest thing right now is just keeping my mouth shut about it and not showing anything or, or not showing any pictures of, of stuff but like i hope it's something that people are going to really want i think it is i think people are going to like it uh, so far, I've gotten nothing but like positive responses from the people that I've been working with on it. That's a good sign. You know what I mean? Like when people's enthusiasm goes up, because it's like right off the bat, like so far, it's like everybody's going to like, oh, Shardimus Prime, you want to work on your own figure line and stuff? Oh, cool. All right. Then I start sharing my ideas and start talking about stuff and like ooh, action figure poo poo. The, the responses have been have been solid. And then Espen, Espen, chill on the on the spamage, bro. Yeah, I got chill on the spamage, dude. So uh, yeah, um, it's been something that I've been really wanting to share and talk about, and I and I just can't right now because it's like you can't. It, it's like it's like the same thing, like like talking to your kids about Christmas presents, you know, and you don't have all the gifts yet. So it's like I don't have all the goods. So I can't really say you're getting this or that for Christmas. I can't really talk like that. I can't say, oh, I'm definitely going to do this or I'm definitely going to have that. Um, but ankle pivot, ankle pivot is is definitely, I mean, you could count on me having some ankle pivot. That's for sure. <laughs> um, hey, this blaster does not have fancy extra paint detail, but this figure does look really, really nice. So... Big thanks again, the Hasbro people sending this over. This is dope. Oh man, yeah, really, really cool figure. San Jose Toy Show in June. Nathan asks, I didn't know that that was happening, so maybe I'm vaccinated. I'm down. I'm down. Um, holy shit, yeah, dude. Thanks for letting me know, Nathan. Um, but I, yeah, I. I'm going to talk to to some friends and see if, if, if that's going to be a reality, but I am down for that. And what about the uh, big juggernaut says, what about the swivels? Yeah, definitely swivels. Definitely going to have ankle pivot. Definitely going to have some swivels. Um, but the thing I'm, I, I'm see like the thing that I want to, I have a couple ideas that I haven't really seen anybody else really do before that I'm trying to make happen. And the reason why I'm not sharing these ideas is because I may not be able to make them happen. 
I may not be able to do it. So I can't say anything about it because then I'm just going to either look like a failure or an asshole or both, you know, which isn't new, but you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I really want to be very careful with it. So I just have to bite my tongue. Which I'm not doing, I, you know, I'm not really saying anything with what I've said. I haven't given you guys any information. Just told you that there are things that I want to talk about, but I can't talk about them right now. Um, but man, I'm excited about it. <laughs> I am excited about it. Uh, Yo, have you watched Bad Batch? Yes, I have. I liked the first episode. I did. I did. I very much liked it. And then uh, Nerdified. Are you getting any? I like that username, by the way. That's a good one. Uh, are you getting any of the Super 7 TMNT figures? And what do you think of them? Oh, all right. Look, dude, they look good. I, I, I'm, I'm not getting the TMNT uh, Super 7 stuff except for the metal head. That's like the only one that I really want. But... There may be some other ones that I really want too. I liked their Baxter Stockman. That looks neat. I might get that. But I did pre-order the whole set of Thundercats figures. So because I have plenty of NECA TMNT, I'm laying off the Super 7 TMNT. I'm being very picky with Super 7 because, number one, their ankle pivots are questionable. Like, I, I like anybody out there owns some Super 7 stuff and, like, you feel really happy with an ankle pivot, man? <laughs> like for real how's that ankle pivot working on the super seven figures oh big juggernaut says something real nice right here oh that's not what i was trying to hold on uh, as long as you put effort and passion into the figures they will be good figures also take your time very much thank you very much big yeah i am taking my time that's why i'm not talking about like a release date or anything like that um you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping for 2022. Like that's like, th that's what I'm hoping for is that, um, they get into people's hands by the year 2022, but I still don't know. You know what I mean? I still don't know, but so far that looks like it's likely to happen. That is a good question, Steve. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is your best drumming experience? What is your best drumming experience? I have I have uh, several like moments that I'll never forget. Um, so there's one. Um, just I was on tour with Dexter Danger. We were playing in San Antonio, Texas, at the Warp Tour, and Tim Armstrong, lead singer of one of my all-time favorite bands, Rancid. Tim Armstrong sitting on the hood of a truck with a camcorder videotaping us and bobbing his head. And he's like stage left, just right there. The bass player also stage left is going, Tim, Tim, Tim. And I'm drumming like, what? What the fuck? Is, what are you fucking doing, dude? And he keeps yelling, Tim, Tim. I'm like, wait, but like not too loud, but he's like, yelling, Tim, Tim, trying to tell me, like, be cool about it. And I look over and it's fucking Tim Armstrong from Rancid videotaping me drumming <laughs> along with the rest of the band but i knew i was in the lens because he was pointed right at us and bobbing his head to our tunes that was epic i also played uh i also played a convention it was a it was a uh um an anime convention in san jose and i was performing across the street and my brother had a table on the other side of the street so my brother and I were both, he, my brother is an artist. So he had a table with all his artwork and all that stuff. And right across the street, I'm performing with a band, but not only that, but the show with the band was awesome. It, it, we had like a really, really good turnout. And I remember this one particular moment when, you know, just getting everybody clapping and stuff. It was one of those things where I'm hitting the sticks and everybody in the room's clapping right with me. There was a shit ton of people there. And um, that was fucking cool as hell. That that was like a very very memorable thing. Um, I have some. I I, I have a, this one show where I was playing with Kulo Aboka, and the place basically exploded. Like like the place. It, it was like a perfect punk rock show where like the band fell on the drum kit. 
Like I'm drumming and band members are falling on the drum kit because people are singing along and just like swarming the band. And there was all kinds of beer and fake blood and all kinds of shit all over the place. That was an epic one. I can go on. I told myself just now to keep it to three. <laughs> King Coltron. Nice name. Nice name. What do you think of the hair, by the way? Anyway, uh, do you know any cheap online stores to buy mega constructs, mega constructs, slash mega? What the? F uh, no. I've uh, been trying to pick up Series 9, Jorge, and 10, Noble 6. Bro, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Cannot help you with that. But absolutely have no clue. Um, Legend Dash Icon says, all right, dude, I'm going to sleep now. So good night and have a good day. Hey, man, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Hope you get some good sleep, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you next time. Peace. That was like, that was a personal piece for you, Legend Icon, right there. Not everybody gets those. So you dream and sleep well, okay? And, um, yeah, dude. Um, dude, I, 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 anybody typing in all caps? Not reading it. Not reading it at all. Um, but I did like the Bad Batch. I've been asked that quite a bit already. Uh, this right here. Uh, I play Cooler. Are you ever going to review Dragon Ball SHF? Are you ever going to watch any of my reviews? Are you going to watch my reviews on SHF? Because that question makes me think you've never seen one. So you're going to ask me if I'm ever going to review Dragon Ball SHF. That means that you never watched any of my Dragon Ball SHF videos. I got a Jiren review. I got a, I got a Ultra Instinct. Did I review Ultra Instinct Goku? Don't think I did. I know I reviewed Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku, though. So I review S SHF, bro. Search bar is your friend. 11 years old, right? I'm trying to guess here. Not trying to insult. Maybe 11 to 16. Somewhere in between there. 11 to 16 years old. All right. Uh, random Batman fan. Should I get the Mafex Batman action figure? Um, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I don't know which one exactly you're talking about. You got to be more specific. Uh, Ryan Sabo asks, did you get Mezco Dr. Fate? I did not. I did not order that figure. I am interested, though. I may, I may change my mind. I don't know if I'd have to uh, get you know a thing going. Um, or if I, if I'm able to get, if I'm not able to get on a wait list, then, uh, I think I'll be all right without it, but I am definitely interested in it. I'm definitely interested in that figure. Um, it, it does look cool. Uh, wish you could do WD action figure, WWD, WWE action figure reviews. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, no one's going to watch him, bro. I, I appreciate it, but you know, it, it's, uh, I, it's not worth the time. It, I, I, and I'm not into that so much to where it's personally worth it to me. You know what I mean? Like I could review a Star Wars figure or a Transformers figure or a dope ass statue, and I may not, and, and and I may get a fraction of the views that I get on a Marvel Legend figure. But the fact that I that I'm like really uh, invested into what I'm talking about and I really like it a lot. That, that makes it worth it to me, you know? But if it's something like WWE, I'm like, I'm, I'm cool with it. Like, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to my friend's uh, wrestling show. I'll go check that out. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'll watch here and there, but it's, it's not my shit for sure. Star Wars is my shit, you know? Dope ass statues. I like dope ass statues. I love that. So I'm going to talk about dope ass statues if I want to, but uh, I'll, I'll sacrifice the views because I'm passionate about it. But WWE, I'm not passionate about, but I do respect it, and I think it's fucking badass. I think it's it's I think it's cool. Mr. Bowling, thank you very much, sir. Says, uh, oh, I said it like you gave a super chat. You didn't, I'm not trying to pressure you, but I don't, I don't know. My brain doesn't work all the way. Uh, tell us a story about your skating days. Dude, <laughs> I don't have that many cool stories to tell because I wasn't very good at it, but I did, I mean... My skating led me into collecting. If that, if you guys want to hear that sad story of me almost dying, <laughs> but basically I was going down a big hill, fell off, cut, um, you know, had a skateboard accident, cracked my skull, and I couldn't do any sports or anything like that. And um, was basically home ridden all the time 
healing from a cracked skull and uh, got into collecting like that. So um, scared the shit out of my parents. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. My brother too. Oh, fuck. And my grandparents. And I mean, everybody, I mean, it scared the hell out of everybody. I mean, can you imagine, dude? I mean, it, it was fucked up. But your boy Shardimus is thick skin. Surprisingly, never broke the skin. Never broke the skin, but broke the broke the bone. Or was it on this side? I think it was actually on this side. It was when I was 15. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm fine now. <laughs> or am I? The big joke is, ah, uh, so... That's why you're the way you are. Eh, everybody says that when I tell that story. But I'm like, yeah, it could be. Could be. Probably not. Um, or could be. Who knows? Who knows, right? The butterfly effect. Uh, would you want, Josh TKB says, would you want a new MCU Mark I War Machine Marvel Legends figure or an Iron Man or a Iron Man 2 Marvel Legends Black Widow? MCU Mark One War Machine, mm -hmm. or an Iron Man Two Marvel Legends Black Widow. Oh wow, wow, wow! Good question, Josh. Really good question. God, I want both. I really do. Can it be a two pack? Can we make it a two pack? Please. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough one. Depending on how they came out, you know what I mean. Really, if um. If we got the proper paint apps on the Mark I War Machine, that would make me really happy. And if we got the proper sculpt on that Black Widow, that would make me happy. So it depends. It depends. But at this moment in time, I'm going to say it's it's kind of like an even – it's an even split for me. I, I want both of those. Bosco says, do you recommend me to get Command – oh, Spawn. Dude, that's a dope statue. I mean, it's it's it has – just minimal points of articulation, but it, it is sick. So if you think uh, the 12-inch commando spawn, if you if, depending on what you like, if you're if if you're a classic McFarlane Toys collector, you're going to be very happy with it. If you're a Marvel Legends collector that's moved into other things, not for you. You're not getting it's a statue. It's, it's more of a statue. Ah, freak soul. Thank you for bringing this up. Well, let me get a sip of this coffee. Mm. Freak Soul, thank you so much for bringing this up. Um, I saw the trailer for that Hulu. It's a Hulu or a Prime. I think it's a Hulu show for Modoc. And yeah, I'm stoked. I'm so, I'm so down for that show. Yeah, I, I'm absolutely down for uh, the new Modoc show. I, I, I like it. I like what I saw from the trailer. So, um, so yeah, Espen says, okay, Shardimus got to go eat. Please don't leave. But if you do, then at least answer some of my questions for me when you leave. We will see, man. I have about 25 minutes left here, but make sure you eat. You need your nutrition. Um, oh, the Mordok show reminds me of Robot Chicken. Yeah, it has that vibe. Uh, Steve says, uh, started collecting comics in 1981. Till 1987, played drums in 90 in 1986, 1998 on the Tama. Yeah, I remember we talked about that before, right? On the Tama kit, 1981 till 87, played drums till 1986. To, so that's a good chunk of time, man. Yeah, dude, I, I recommend picking up the sticks again. I, I, I highly recommend it. It's it's good for the soul. You'll feel it come back. You'll be surprised. I mean, I've never took more than like a month away from the kit, but like. I'm I'm sure it'll get back to you real quick. Uh, Jay's Fig says, "Hey, Shart, did you like Noobsay Bot more than the other ninjas? As far as the figures go, I think he actually came out a little bit better than the other ninjas. To be honest with you, I like him more than the other. Yeah, well, because Sub Zero and Scorpion are are Wave One figures. Like the head and neck articulation is still kind of like eh. they have the same above the knee." cut which i really like but i do think noob say bot is a step up from from the other ninja figures from, from um yeah scorpion and and sub-zero but i hope they make all of them god that would be sick have you got the shang chi wave yes i do have it big thanks to geek chick style um my shang chi figure i'm actually working on my shang chi review right now 
not right now, right now, but today I was working on my Shang Chi review. Um, please tell me. I mean, you guys have seen reviews of of this figure already. I'm assuming. Did mine not come with fisted hands, or do they all not come with fisted hands? Do you guys know? Because mine didn't come with fisted hands, and I'm like shocked. So that's going to be a topic Saturday. Stay tuned. Saturday, I will have uh, my Shang-Chi review. And um, I have not seen the Mortal Kombat movie yet. So let's like not talk about that so much because I really want to see it. And it's, you know, it's always kind of a strategic uh, balancing act for me to watch movies. Um, who do you think will... Oh, 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 oh. But, um, all right. So, uh, Bosco says again, uh, do you think Hasbro should do, do the Sam Raimi Spider-Man feel? Oh, yeah, bro, come on. Yeah, I've mentioned this to them a few times already. Marriage and kids, 1998 till now. Dude, it's intense, right? It seems like it, it, it like, it's, it really seems, oh, jeez, Figs answered my question, and I'm not happy with the answer that none of them come with fists. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I got a defect because I think they included chopstick holding hands, which I think is like, what? This fool has no fist, but he's got... Uh, wait for the review, you guys. I haven't gotten this angry at a figure in a while, so wait for the review, but I'm actually kind of pissed off at the Shang-Chi figure. Um, the Marriage and Kids since 1998. It's a, I mean, so far, it's been a hell of a fucking ride, dude. My daughter is going to be four years old in October and it's just like the leaps and bounds of changes that she's made in the way she talks. It's just so crazy. Like, what was it? She got in trouble with me and I chewed out my, and I chewed her out and stuff and, and she was in trouble and she was crying and all this stuff. But, you know, I had to discipline her and, 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 and tell her she was being bad and all this stuff. And then after, you know, like, and then afterwards, I, I, I want to give my kids a hug and a kiss after they get in trouble, after they realize that they've done something wrong, you know, remind them that dad, dad still loves them and stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hugging her and I'm holding her. And then I guess she had spilled something over there, done something wrong. Charlita one comes into the room and starts chewing Emma out for that. And Lord Emmatron says like, but. But daddy, just give me a hug to make me feel better. And you're going to do this to me now and make me feel sad again. I was like, what? <laughs> but daddy was just giving me a hug to make me feel better. And you're going to do this to me and make me feel sad all over again. Oh, I, I know I just repeated myself, but it's like, I, just the fact that happened. I'm like, what the, what the, I'm like, what the heck am I? This is little, I'm holding this little person. What a trip, man. Uh, Wyatt Green says, uh, WLM student, uh, hey, Shardimus, can I get a shout-out? Uh, there's a shout-out. Since I lost my grandpa and you made me start collecting. Wow, I'm sorry for you losing your grandfather, man. Really, really sorry about that. That's rough. My grandmother's not doing so well right now. Um, damn. Yeah, so my gra I have one grandparent left. I mean, my grandfather and grandmother are, are, are both around, but um, it's, he's not my biological grandfather, but my grandfather still. But um, he's not doing so well with the back cancer, and then my grandmother has got just the one artery left in her heart, and she's been really bummed out about it. So, um, oh, man. So, uh, yeah, let me see right here. Uh, Jagger Collector says, oh, yeah, and I'm happy to inspire with the collecting, by the way. Thanks for sharing that with me. But, yeah, sorry to hear about your grandfather. That's a bummer, man. Uh, Jagger Collector, and shout out, and to me it counts if I say your name. That's a shout out. That's that, that that's as far as the shout outs are going to go today. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, like, you know, like somebody like, you know, like, like, for helping me get figures, that's a whole other that's a whole other thing. Jagger, when I mean helping me get, help me buy, you know, help me buy. Uh Jagger collectors, are you are you okay with Death Dealer reusing the Ant-Man body? Yeah, I uh, someone had pointed that out to me recently. Stay tuned for the review. I will discuss that once uh, I have that review up, but I don't want to give away too much from my video or else you're not going to check it out, right? If I tell you everything I feel about the figure already, 
what's there to what's there to see when I share my opinion on the figures. So, Shang Chi figure wave uh, questions. Keep them to a minimum because I'm probably not going to answer them. I'm going to want to going to want to you know share it in the video. You know. Do you ever think uh, Colt Kid says? Do you ever think Marvel Legends will do any accessory pack, i.e., uh, psychic effects, new flame effects? They answered this question. Uh, I think I I think it was in Bug Nice Ten's interview video with them that he asked something like that, and they had explained that they are interested in doing something like that. It's just a matter of figuring out exactly. Um, what kind of assortment they would do would it all be energy effects would it all be towards one character would it be all towards another character like there's a lot of there's a lot of different possibilities with that mm -mm -mm. what superhero figure line mm. What superhero figure line would you recommend to start collecting or getting some figures from the ones that catch my attention or Marvel and DC just don't know what line to get from. Yeah, man. I mean, Marvel, I would I would say Marvel Legends because they have the most amount of reissues and repaints coming out there. So if you missed something that came out recently and you want to go back and get it, your chances are of getting that character later on or a version of that character are higher. You know, but stick with the characters that you like. You know, start collecting. Hey, Alex. Yeah, stick with the characters you like. And I, I would recommend Legends. Um, Alexander Thomas, thank you so much. You know what I think Hasbro should make? A six-inch Marvel UK original Death's Head. I know, yeah, a lot of people. Death's Head 1 with hands that interchange. Yeah, and weapons. Not 2.0. We have a 2.0, but, but the original and make it sturdy. That would be sick. Now, Death's Head, I'm not super familiar with the character, but the character is pretty badass looking and yeah, I think that would be, I'm totally on board with that idea. That would be a dope ass deluxe uh, figure that you could, in, you could include that with all kinds of accessories and everything. There, there's a, that's open for a lot of creativity for sure. Um, but yeah, that, that would be sweet. They might do it. They might. I, I don't know. I don't know, but um, would you buy an invincible style Marvel Legends wave with Monster Girl as the bath? Bro, I made a Marvel Legends invincible figure. Okay. You guys want to see my invincible figure? If you say no, I'm going to cry. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I did make a custom invincible figure if you want to see it. Right. Now would be a good time to do a re review on that, huh? Now that everyone's all got a hard one for invincible, right? Everyone's all stoked on Invincible right now. Maybe I should do a re-review of my uh, Invincible custom figure. Yes, sure. I have to go to the dark room and get it. And I'm not bringing you with me. So hang tight. I will not be gone for very long. Um, I will be back in just a moment just to grab that figure. So oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, baby. All right, here we go. Wasn't gone that long, right? Here's my invincible figure. Ooh, he needs to be dusted. There's several ways you could dust your figures. I'm just doing a good old thumb wipe right now. But that's my invincible custom. Uh, I used the uh, legendary comic book, uh, legendary comic book heroes. Um, was it the Madman figure? And then I sculpted on uh, the the eye lenses right there, and then it's just paint for the rest of it. Um, the special thing about this is I got to meet I've got to meet Robert Kirkman on several occasions, and I got him to sign the butt. So that was very cool. So pretty, pretty.
pretty stoked about still having this. So that's that's cool. All right. Haven't haven't picked up this figure in quite some time. God, it's so overexposed. But yeah, you could see it, right? Yeah, it's okay. I customized it. I, you know, I haven't customized figures in a long, long time. I'll put this in the spot where I know he's not going to fall over or anything. There you go. So, yeah. Um, shoo us. Uh, uh, what are your, what are you naming your figure line? Well, that's one thing I spent a bunch of time on today. That was a lot of fun. Cause I got to <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's kind of a little shit. I'm going with, I'm, I'm going with, um, I can say it now, right? I think I can say it now because it's trademarked. So, yeah, because if it were to go through, uh, um, I have until November. Yeah, so, yeah, the trademark is in. Um, it's called Street Humans. That's what I'm going with, Street Humans. So that's, that's the name right now. My company is going to be called, called SP Figures, so... That's uh, that's what I'm going with. Should I get the Mafex Batman v Superman Batman? Uh, the, 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 the Mafex uh, Batman v. I think yeah, I like I like that figure a lot. I still have that one. I really like it a lot. Yes, I say get that figure. Uh, I never watched Lost. I heard I heard it had a really bad ending, and so I, I kind of stayed away. So yeah, I never got into Lost. But um, my wife watched it all, and my parents watched it all, and that was enough for me to be like, yeah, okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I think I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, Mike Prior says, pretty tight. I have the new ones in my cart. I need to get busy with my customs. Baghead Spider-Man has been laying around since the uh, first set of Fantastic Four Legends. Ah, nice. Made yourself a... Uh, a baghead, baghead Spider-Man. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, I never saw it. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> oh my! Uh, Double jointed film says I do stop motion too. Not as good as yours. Oh, thanks. Uh, but can you check it out if you get the chance? Love the vids. Keep it up. Yeah, man. I'll give it. A, I'll give it a look. Uh, go ahead and send the link. I'll click it and and I'll open it in another window. So I'll check it out later. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a look. Ulisa says, uh, which canceled figure hurts you more not to have? Mine would be the DC icons Catwoman. Wow, talking about canceled figures. Um, you know which one? God, uh, this is like, I mean. You know which one I would have oh God, it's like I'm almost embarrassed to say it, but it's like the Hot Toys Rhino. Like I still kind of really wish I could of I, I I wish I could have seen a video on it or a review, a legit video on it to make the decision. But that Hot Toys Rhino from Amazing Spider-Man 2 was something that I would have liked to have had. It would have been really cool, I think. Uh, that bums me out a lot. Um, but yeah, the, the icons line I was kind of dipping out of as it was as I mean, like the scaling. Oh, the scaling frustrated me, man. It just made them just too little. Um, so yeah, that 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 kind of bummed me out. Your thoughts on Omega from the Bad Batch? So let me see. Um, Omega was that the bomb specialist one or was omega the super nerdy one i'm trying to remember like thought omega I, I really like the super nerdy one that that one and that whole scene what was it when they're going through that test and they're like totally breaking the rules and like reprogramming the droids i thought that was so dope that actually hit the geek spot for me because it's like these clones are all kind of supposed to act the same more or less but this oh the girl was omega that's right. Uh, Omega. Okay, Omega's. See, I wasn't sure if that was. Wait, Omega, you mean the female? Was that the bomb specialist one? Because I never. Because, like, I thought the female looking one was the one that never took off the helmet, right? I'm trying to remember this. I was watching this while I had kids around and stuff, so I tried my best to focus. 
Um, I know, like, dude, like, before me having kids, I cannot, I would not be able to understand that shit of people talking about not being able to watch shows right. But um, now that I'm a dad, I know what it's like to not be able to watch show. Omega was the kid. I thought that was a little boy. I, I, I wasn't sure if that was a boy or a girl. But, I mean, the character, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, the links don't. Looks like links aren't 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 work. Echo is the hacker. Ecker, okay. You're not calling me boy, are you, Bobby? You don't talk to me like that, motherfucker. <laughs> he blonde girl is Omega. He blonde girl is Omega. Okay. So I thought it was um who's my favorite? Robin. Uh I, I always jump with classic Dick Grayson Robin as my number one Robin. To be honest with you, but yeah, I thought like Omega was who they're going to for the rescue, right? Like Omega was really the one that they're that they're trying to to rescue and and get back, right? Am I wrong? Can you make the Marvel Legends Captain America hold the shield like the SH Figuarts Captain America? I'm I don't know. Um, the Marvel Legends Captain America hold the shield. From the SH Figuarts Captain America figure, that won't work because they have them with interchangeable hands that just peg into the SH Figuarts, if that's what you meant. Uh, Black Series George Lucas or Legends Jim and Stan Lee, uh, which would you want? Uh, you can only pick one. There needs to be a Jack Kirby figure before any of that. Jack Kirby, number one. Jack Kirby deserves a figure before anybody else, I think. Jack Kirby figure number one. And then after that, we can go between George Lucas and Steve Ditko. But for me personally, a Jack Kirby figure would be like the number one figure that that should be like person made into a figure. You know what I mean? Right? No? What do you guys think? Uh, Molecule Man needs to have a figure. Uh, the Mafex Captain America looks sick. Yeah, I'm interested in the Mafex Captain America figure for sure. Um, but yeah, just so you guys know, we are at, we got about, we've got like five, about five minutes left of this live stream to go. We are going to stop in about six minutes and then I will continue on with the, uh, with the Patreon slash membership exclusive after party, uh, immediately after with a different link. So, uh, just giving you guys like a six minute warning and, uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm, I'm still here. Just giving you a little warning. Uh, Kryptonite Spider Bite Dynamite. Dude, crushing it with the username. Nice. <laughs> and he made a logo, too. Love it. Uh, I would adore a Black Series George Lucas. Yeah, I would totally get one. I'd also love a Black Series John Williams and Frank Oz. Wow. Really going for it. I mean, yeah, dude. Make a three-pack. That would be kind of neat. I mean... I don't know. Lucas one, you know. I, I did like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, I kind of think I liked WandaVision more, though. I think I did like WandaVision more. But I really, really liked watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It brought back that whole Captain America Winter Soldier movie vibe. You know what I mean? Richard, okay, saludas de Mexico. Okay, vamos a ponerlo en time out, okay? Okay, Miguel? All right. Oh, he, he just, okay. That's okay. And I hope, hopefully that timeout's not like five minutes because then it's a cabo la cosa. Okay. Uh, was watching Iron Man two and thought how awesome would it be to get the hammer drones in Marvel legends forms? I have been wanting that ever since that movie came out. I was bummed out that I picked them all up for the three, three quarter inch. I still have those figures for my three, three quarter inch. Um, I loved that. I thought that was dope. I really wanted to have those in action figure form, like all four. That would have been so cool, but nope. Uh, what is your favorite Mafex figure? That's a good question. I think it's the comic version one Spider-Man. I would probably say that number one. Um, in Falcon and Winter Soldier, do you think Zemo putting on the purple mask was pointless? No, I liked it. Made sense enough for me, anyway. It worked enough. 
I get I get where you're coming. I, I, get, I get where you're going with it and everything, but I liked it. I liked it. Sometimes you just need those visuals. You know what I mean? We are visual creatures. We like to see things. You know what I mean? Like we we obsess over that. It's part of our survival optics. How things look. It's how we reproduce sexual selection. You know what I mean? That's why everybody's all hot now. If you guys, if you guys were to jump in a time machine and go back a hundred years, everybody would look ugly. But there's no ugly people anymore. Everyone's beautiful. Everyone looks great. Everyone's got all the tips. Everyone knows how to work. Uh, you know, the facial creams, everybody knows how to exercise, everybody's got the proper information, everybody looks great nowadays. My grandmother was telling me that she was saying, like, everybody looks everybody looks like they're ready for TV. Everybody looks like they could be an actor now. I go outside and everybody looks great. She said, When I was young, there used to be ugly people. <laughs> um Grim Reaper 444 says, Have you ever tried those John Tyler Christopher action figure variants? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm interested. Do uh Doodalist says, What's your favorite Punisher movie? And which one of them would you like to be in figure form? I want um I, I both um Thomas Jane and uh Volstag, what's his name? I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I love the war zone because it was very different from the Punisher one, from the Thomas Jane Punisher one. I, I will say though, that the Thomas Jane Punisher is my favorite Punisher movie. Just getting that out of the way, but I loved War Zone. War Zone was fun as hell. I loved War Zone for what it was, but my number one is the Thomas Jane Punisher because it has one of my favorite Punisher stories. It's based on one of my favorite Punisher stories, which is one of my favorite all-time comic book writers, Garth Ennis. So I love I love the Thomas Jane Punisher. Plus, I got to meet that Punisher, which is cool, but more so because you know the movie and everything. But I got to meet Thomas Jane, which was dope. That was very cool. And uh he has a very uh Matthew McConaughey laid back kind of vibe thing going with him. You know, and I believe he was wearing chancletas, which I was like, Punisher's wearing sandals. <laughs> I was like, what? Punish is wearing sandals. All right. Weird. Mr. Joe Capone. How you doing, bro? Uh, what masterpiece transformer would you like to see made? Mine is jazz. I think that's my number one, also, bro. I think that is my number one. Um Ultra Magnus was an, was one I wanted for a long time. Um dude, jazz for sure. Oh, blaster blaster i you know i'm kind of we have the third party ver i have my kfc third party version but yeah like an official masterpiece blaster would be really really dope um you know but jazz number one for sure god i love the 86 jazz figure that is sick the studio series jazz that is amazing um i think my favorite mortal Kombat game was mk3 I remember that was like my hype, but I'm really loving Mortal Kombat 11. Like every time I play that game, I, I have I have such a great time. Uh, do you think the Loki show will be better than the WandaVision? I don't know. It could be. Tom Hiddleston's the man. I mean, he, if there's anyone that's going to carry a show that would wipe WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier aside, Tom Hiddleston could do it. That guy is amazing. I, I think he's awesome. Just an incredible actor. Damn. Some of these people, you know, I don't know. I I, I could really, I, I just really appreciate the craft and certain actors. I could just really, really see, you'd almost see the time they put into hon honing that craft. And for that guy, I'm like, that, that guy's a theater. I mean, that guy's got to have hella theater experience. He, he's, he's, he's amazing. Um, all right. Last one I'm reading. And then we got to go. We're already a minute behind. I started, actually, we'll go two more minutes because I did start at 4.03. But uh, do you have any complaints on the McFarlane Mortal Kombat figures uh, before I buy? Uh, dude, I wish they came with interchangeable hands. The lack of weapon storage bothers me. I wish we had better weapon storage. Uh, sometimes this, the, the joints can be really stiff, so you got to heat them up. Um, so I do have my complaints for sure. Those are some things to look out for. Wish they had interchangeable hands. Wish uh, better weapon storage. 
um, you know, depending on the figure, though, the articulation changes a little bit here and there. So, you know, like like with Noob Sabot and, um, yeah, did the Cabal wait, stay tuned for the Cabal review? That's coming up tomorrow. So I'm reviewing Cabal tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I I thought I reviewed that Revel Tech Venom. So you can check out that video that I spent many hours on. And then Arthur Morgan says, Hey, Shardimus, is there a chance you might make another Marvel Legends collector documentary? There is no chance it is actually going to happen before the end of 2021. So um, I have a script for part six already. So definitely on my radar. Definitely something I, I want to do. And yes, prescribed drone. They definitely need fists. And hey, you guys, if anyone sees Thirsty for Chicken out there, tell him I hope he's doing all right. You know, I miss I miss Thirsty for Chicken. Um, that's all. If you guys know who he is, he's a regular in this community. And um, last I heard, he wasn't. He, he was feeling sick. Um, so really hope uh, he's doing well. Um, wishing you the best, man. Ho hopefully everything's going okay with thir with thirsty for chicken. If anyone kn knows, you know how he's doing, has more info, you know, let me know. But yeah, I hope he's doing well, and hope you guys wish him well too. You know what I mean? Like, just get some positive energy out there for thirsty for chicken, because I haven't seen him around. And last I heard, he wasn't feeling well, so I'm like, I hope he's okay. You know, uh, road to 600k. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna be blown away by the giveaways. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Let's close out with the Shardimus Prime theme song. I'm going to move on to the exclusive after party. Coming up in mere moments. But uh, if you didn't see my drum cover, I, I learned how to play the... All right, here we go, you guys. Charter's Prime theme song. One. This is not even the right key, but hey, whatever. One, two, three, pop. We're Charter Man, Charter Man, Charter Man, Prime. Charter Man, Charter Man, Charter Man, Prime. We're reading comics. Cause you're hella sick, hella wagging it. Taking bad hits, taking bad shit. Charter Man. Hey, subscribe. We need to get those 600,000 subscribers. You peachy man, love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. What happened without you? You know that, all right, you guys? Love you guys, need you. All right. Thank you so much. Really appreciate everybody being here and showing up. Um, you channel members, patrons, stay tuned. I will have a fresh link up over there for the after party. We're going to go crazy. I don't going to go that crazy. but. It's going to be a little bit looser. All right. So thank you, everybody that showed up to this one. And stay tuned next week. We'll probably be doing this at the same shark time, same shark channel. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.